Hello, good day and welcome to Teso. My name is Edwin and uh, for this video we'll be introducing or we'll be showing you some of our latest updates. Now, if you check on your Survey Master, they've, they've released newer versions of Survey Master and again, these newer versions came with uh, some features that you can use to carry out measurements, calculations and then draw out some uh, certain shapes and angles while you are still on site so you don't even need to get to your system to do your processing you can just on the site to do some arrangements and then do some calculations and everything you can use the uh, data logger to do while you are still on site so that's what we are uh, that's what we'll be talking about today so uh, before we proceed make sure you follow us on all our social media platforms on instagram facebook uh, twitter and even on uh, tiktok and linkedin at uh, Joso Technologies. Also, do well to like, share, comment your suggestions about this video and what you'd like to see on our next video. And most importantly, click on the subscribe button. So let's proceed to the exercise. Okay, so uh, now if you check uh, for this video, we've already created our project, which is the SM feature test. And then we we'll set up our coordinate system, we connected our rover to the base, and as you can see, we have a fixed solution. So, what we are going to do is we are going to pick some points, and then we'll use those points to do the to explain some of the features that we want to work on. So, just stay with us. All right, so uh, as you can see on our screen, we have uh, three points already that we've surveyed. Now, what we are going to do is, we are going to be showing you some of the features now. The first one we are going to be talking about is that we can now draw features like a, a line, establish a point, you can create a circle, a square, and even a polygon. On the survey master so you don't even need to go to autocad to do those kind of stuff you just do them and even include the text so basically you can create your survey plan using the survey master application so to carry out those features what you just do is you go to the put to options and then you click on draw now so these are the various functions features you can use while you can apply to your drawing while you are doing while you are on still on the survey master uh, triple survey page. So you can establish a point. You can create a line, a poly line, which is a which is two or more connected lines. You can create a curve. You can create an arc, a square, a square with a center radius, a rectangle, a rectangle also with a center radius, a polygon, a two point circle, a three point circle, and then the last but not the least we see the text feature so if i want to establish a line all i need to do is to click on line and come to the screen and select the two points here i want to establish the line and then click on ok come back here and name the, the name my point so i'm naming this as a line one and I'm good to go. So you see we've gotten our line and as you can see on the label, it is labeled as line one. Also, if I want to establish an arc, you know, to establish an arc on AutoCAD, you need the beginning point, the curve direction, and then the end point. So if I want to do the same thing here, I'll go to my foot tools, click on draw, select my arc, select the first point, select the arc direction, and then select my ending point. So, you see we've established our arc already so we'll click on ok we also enter the name of the arc so i'm using arc1 as the name of my arc and then i'll click on ok and finally if you want to establish a polygon now a polygon is is just the way like we have on you know to tell you sometimes your property cannot be a perfect square shape so when you've got a perfect square shape and you can have more than three points or more than four or five points so we call those ones polygons so 
if I want to establish a polygon, it's the same process. Uh, I'll just click on first of place delete some of these features we have here, like this line because it might interfere with our polygon. So if you want to delete any feature, just zoom in, click on the feature, and you see the delete option under the same thing we are deleting the arc. So once you select the arc, you click on delete and it has gone up. Now to establish a polygon, we'll come back to our quick tools, click on draw and we'll select polygon, select our points and then we'll click on OK. So we'll change this, the name, we'll set, use the name as a PLG, which is polygon one. And then we'll click on OK. So as you have seen, we've created our polygon now. If you check the details of the polygon are, are here already, which is the area. The area is uh, 18 square meters, as 18.072 square meters, and the perimeter is, which is the lines connected together, is 20.687 meters. So that's how to create a polygon on the Survey Master application. Now, another thing you 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 can do with the Survey Master is you can also set up layers the same way you do on AutoCAD. Now, if you come to uh, Quick Tools you see the layer icon now we have the zero layer the same way we have on autocad we have our base layer the base layer is the base map so the map that you are seeing on the program then we have our point layer we have line layer so you can add different forms of layers you can also toggle them on and off you can change the layer color by editing and also and so on and so forth you can create more layers you can delete existing layers so these are some of the features that, that comes with the updated survey master. So thank you very much and we hope to see you on our next video. And please don't forget to like, share, comment your suggestions about this video and also what you'd like to see on our next video. Thank you very much and please subscribe. Thank you and see you another time.